Hi, so I am a future student at the University of Sussex. Um, me and my mom went to the open day and we stayed in Brighton and we found, because I, I mean, I found, I deliberately googled it, a used bookshop. Um, and we also went to the Waterstones. Um, yes, of course we did. And I got a bunch of books. So I'm just going to go through them because that's what we do here on booktube so the first like new author i discovered was when we went to the waterstones i picked this up sounds being a bit annoying but um yeah i picked this up because i like the cover and i really like greek mythology so um it's not really about greek mythology at all but i did absolutely love it there's like an essay <laughs> which is I thought it was kind of funny. This penguin edition of this book had an afterword that kind of shits all over again. <laughs> it does it very politely, but it basically calls him a naive, um, religious terrorist. Which, not gonna lie, they have a point, but it's a very strange thing to include in in the book. And I just thought it was kind of really funny um but you know both Camus and i think it's james wood was it james wood uh, the dude who wrote the essay james wood remembered it um have good points and then um so i bought this one at the waterstones then at the used bookstore i bought um this the play is it play or just yeah the play um summers uh this is also from penguin i don't think this one has an afterword um, and I'm really curious to read them because um, the play is a fiction novel and I am curious to see how its non-fiction belief could translate in a fiction story. And then this, I don't really know what it is, I just saw the name of the author and it was 50 cents, so yeah, bought it. Then I also bought some poetry. This one really appealed to me because it's annotated all over and now of course I can't find one but that, yeah, Look, it has so many annotations in it and I love books that have already been annotated, there are some doodles and I just think it's great because I get to read this person's opinions on the poetry and it's his kind of, I mean there, I don't want to assume again, the uh, analysis of the poetry which is great because I don't really like um, classical poetry um, but the annotations might make it more interesting and also I like this cover it's simple but also just a pretty illustration pretty drawing, good art then I also, I don't really like the cover of this one but it's a book of um, it's a modern gay anthology compiled and produced by Martin Humphreys and it has a lot of um, gay poems in it, which again, I, I'm not a huge fan of poetry, but gay poems, why not? Uh, and it was also, again, really cheap. Like, this used bookstore was so much cheaper than the used bookstore I go to in Leuven. Like, in Leuven, the average price for a used book is five euros. Now, I can't really, this was of course in pounds, but I know that pounds are one pound is more than one euro so this is so much cheaper like a lot um so i low-key went nuts as you saw then i also bought ian forster i haven't read any of his books but i have seen the remastered not sure if it's 2019 but like a couple of years ago i think they remastered his movie and made it all pretty again um, the movie of Maurice and me and my mom went to see it when Leuven was doing an LGBT week thing and uh, it was really beautiful I very much enjoyed it also because uh, I really like dark academia and this wasn't really that but it had the aesthetic you know especially the earlier scenes at a university completely forgot which one it is then this is another one from the Waterstones Susan Sontag is um, one of those people 
loose quotes I see everywhere but I haven't actually read anything of her actually I think I read an essay once but it, it was so long ago that I can't even remember what the essay was about let alone the title so I bought this one and I mean it has somebody hanging on the cover so that's my style for better or for worse <laughs> then I also in the second hand bookstore bought perfume I actually already own this but in Dutch and I want to reread it and I'm kind of really sick of Dutch especially because now I know that I can actually go to England speak English and I don't really need I mean I if everything goes according to plan I won't really need Dutch all that much anymore in my life and it is my mother tongue so not really necessary to read anything in Dutch if I don't want to and I don't so I bought it in English and I am going to reread it because I barely remember anything except that I think there's a movie now and I want to reread it and then watch the movie because another YouTuber gave a very favorable view of the movie and it's also just a really interesting concept and then in the same horror um, vein Junji Ito I think like my three big horror obsessions right now are Stephen King of course Jordan Peele and Junji Ito like they're just so good like I would read the, the mailing list of all of them, the, the grocery list of all of them, you know, like they're just so talented and Junji Ito is just so weird, you know, like I wouldn't even call all of his stories good, like structurally, um, the art is always top notch, but like the stories don't always work super well I, I really don't like all of them but all of them are so weird that I kind of do like all of them you know not really you know oh this is a good story then but you know what the fuck then you know like it's just it's really refreshing because horror is a genre that is unfortunately rightly known for not being super original we kind of recycle the same tropes over and over again um and very i mean there are people who managed to do creative stuff with it but like very few people are so wild <laughs> as shinjo ito like you never know what's coming you know I, I i have no idea what i am about to read and i'm very excited about that so that was the book haul I will definitely be going back to that used bookshop. Um, my university in Sussex was also going to have a bookshop that I'm very curious about. It was closed when we visited. So, you know, maybe I will be doing a book haul from that bookshop. In any case, many more book hauls to come, probably. Bye.